If you've studied for the MCAT before, or you're currently studying for the MCAT, then you understand the struggle of the car section. Now, I recently had a submitted question from one of my subscribers wanting to know what they could do to improve their MCAT car section and also how to overcome those you know, dense and detail heavy passages to improve their score. In this video, I'll be telling you what I did to increase my MCAT score uh, three points from my first attempt to my second attempt. And I'll also be sharing with you my MCAT study strategy for the car section. Let's get started. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. For those of you who may be new to my channel, my name is Terrence. I'm an accepted medical school applicant and an incoming first year medical student and I'll be starting medical school this upcoming August of 2020. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and like the video if you enjoy these type of videos. I'll be putting out weekly videos just like this one every single week. So make sure you subscribe and come along for the journey. I have an ongoing series on my channel where I talk about and answer your email submissions. If you're interested in getting your question answered, make sure you check the description down below. I have all the information on how you can submit a question to me and get it answered in a video just like this one. In this video, we'll be talking about the cars section of the MCAT, how to increase your score and what I did to personally study, review my cars passages and, and ultimately improve my score from a 123 to a 126. I wanna go off by saying I did score a 126 on my second MCAT and I never, never got any questions about whether you know that was a weak point for me. No one really questioned that uh, when I went for interviews, but a 126 definitely isn't a 128, a 129, or a 130. So just a quick disclaimer, you know, this is what I did to study to get my 126, and I'm sure if I implemented different things um, that I, I could have uh, increased my score even more. But I just wanted to let you guys know that you know being all 100% transparent, this is just what I did in my strategy. So maybe you could take a little bit away from this and uh, apply it to your study strategy as well. So let's get right into the question. Um, she asked me here for cars, my current major and reoccurring problem is critically reading and hence correctly answering detail heavy, AKA dense passages in a timely manner. Because I'm not fully comprehending, I then spend more time rereading the relevant passages, uh, portions when answering questions. And, you know, I gained, uh, I, got, I got a lot of questions like this and I wanted to, you know, point out this one here, but a lot of questions asking me, you know, how did I study for the car section? How do I increase my car section? How do I review my car's passages? And I want to answer that in, the, in a video just like this one. So for me, I definitely understand the feeling uh, how impossible sometimes that car's passage can feel and the car section can feel, but I promise you if you keep pushing through and trust and stick with the process, uh, you can make it to the other side. You know, the best answer I gave her was to definitely continue to do daily cars practice. I felt that when I was doing daily cars practice, I was scoring, you know, 128s on my practice exams, 127s, but you know, when I would take time off, and I would slack a little bit, it would go immediately down to a 125, 126. So the biggest thing I can definitely advise is to continue to do cars practice every single day, whether that's one passage, two passages, three passages, a uh, whole car section. Uh, just make sure you're doing cars practice daily and keeping the mind sharp. Uh, cars is something that it's really something that we're not used to being tested in that way. We're used to the sciences. We're used to the you know psych so a little bit, but. You know, if you're a, a science major, you're not used to cars and reading comprehension in this way. So it's something that you have to refine and keep sharp as you uh, go forward. And also something I advised to her was to make sure she understood why she was you know, having to reread the passage. Why do you have to go back? Uh, understanding your strategy will allow you to make it, make those improvements. Now, uh, were you going back because you had an inability to remember? Were you just slow at reading? Were you lacking skill in identifying you know, the important information in the passage? Were you in misinterpreting the questions or not being able to understand what the question is asking you to obtain? Or was it a little bit of all of them? And you know that's okay if it is a little bit of everything, um, but it's important to identify those things first and then you could see where you can make those improvements and make those changes so you can uh, improve your score so now yeah. I want to go through my strategy and what I did and how I approach the MCAT car section what my tutor taught me about how to approach MCAT cars to allow you to you know not only be able to do them in a timely fashion but also pick up on your mistakes and improve upon your your errors so what he taught us was kind of like a two um, time approach where essentially you're doing every single passage twice. Um, so every single practice problem or practice passage you're doing, you're doing it twice. And so the first time you go through, you do it in a timed manner. So you have 90 minutes to complete the car section of your MCAT. And in that 90 minutes, 
you essentially have you have to do nine passages so at a 10 minute uh, rate per passage so you essentially go in set a 10 minute timer do the passage timed as if you were taking the actual mcat you do it at, to the best of your ability in that time fashion you take a five minute break kind of let your mind de-stress uh, relax a little bit have a clear mind then go back in untimed uh, no limit and just go back and reread the passage take your time understand you know the main themes of the passage understand the details now go back and answer the questions again but this time use uh the time that the free time that you're given the unlimited time to now fix upon your mistakes now did you first time when you were reviewing it and you're going through fast you maybe missed something and now you can go back untimed kind of work on that skill of reading the question going back into the passage identifying what you need to find and it'll help you improve upon that uh that skill of identifying what's important what's the main theme um and then continuously doing this so now you're going to get better over time with analyzing passages and when you're constantly doing things time 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 and not actually getting a chance to step back and analyze and say what did i do wrong where did i go wrong in this process uh, you keep making the same mistakes over and over and over again, but now taking the time to do it untimed and then comparing it to your timed version and saying, okay, what did I do under the time pressure? Was I, am I just a slow reader? Do I need to get faster at reading? Do I need to look back at the passage uh, a little bit more carefully? Am I misinterpreting the questions because I'm reading them too fast? Um, different things like that. Now you can assess when you're looking at your untimed version. And now if you're going through your untimed version and still getting questions wrong, then that tells you, all right, I need to work on certain types of questions. If you're, For me, I got a lot of questions wrong when it comes to the main overarching theme of the passage. So I would look at, look at those questions and say, okay, how can I improve my approach in order to, you know, understand that overarching theme a little bit better? What am I missing? Am I focusing too much into the details? Am I reading things, reading into things too much? Um, and then, you know, just that reflection allowed me to really improve my score and get a, you know, a better grasp upon the, the car section. And the same strategy can be used. Let's say you're doing three passages. You could take 30 minutes and do three passages in 30 minutes, then go back, same thing, untimed and review them. And I promise you that, you know, by reviewing and taking this time to review your passages in this way, doing them untimed and then reviewing both your timed and untimed versions, why you did certain things and why you made certain decisions to uh, click a certain answer or what, what went wrong in your timed version that you were able to correct in your untimed. If you're doing untimed and you're getting all the questions right, then that means that you have the potential, you have the skill to be able to get all the questions right. Now it's just a matter of being able to condense it and speed up your skills so that you can do it in a timely fashion. Uh, that may be improving your reading skills, improving how fast you can read and how fast you can interpret. And that just comes with repetition and practice problems. I have links to my uh, MCAT study materials in the description and I, did personally, I did uh, M uh, 101 passages from Exam Crackers. The AAMC uh, MCAT Cards bundle um, is obviously the best thing that you're, you're gonna get. That's the most accurate because because they're old questions. But also, U World is very very good and very close to um, mimicking what the AAMC passages are like. Um, also try uh, doing, you know, the, the benefit of having all those practice problems is not only to get better at the skills, but understanding what passages you're good at and what passages you're not. For me, anytime I saw something with a Greek philosopher or something history related, I was a little bit weaker in that. But if it was like something that was the arts or something that music, because I have a music background, that is uh, was a little bit easier for me to read or re easier for me to understand. And, and it was more enjoyable. So maybe test yourself and try to do passages that are in your in your uncom you know, uncomfortable zone try reading things that are more uncomfortable for you and uh it, it may help you improve your speed of reading and improve your comprehension um just try to go into every passage you know trying to understand or try to learn something new from the passage and uh you know just really soaking it in that's the best advice i could give that's what i tried to do um and i hope that you know, this study strategy, you could, you know, maybe try to implement and do it for yourself. It's something that really helped me it was something that was unique to me. I haven't really heard anybody else talk about this type of strategy. So I just want to give it to you guys so that you can maybe try it out and help improve your score. Let me know if you've tried it out and give me some feedback in the comments below or email me if you tried it out and it's really helped your score. Um, 
Once again, thank you for watching this video. If you would like to email a submission to me to get your question answered, that could be MCAT, that could be medical school application related, um, personal statements, uh, what it's like to be a medical student, all these different things for the future. Uh, I'm happy to answer any emails. So my emails are always open. Thank you again. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, like the video. If you enjoy these videos, I'm putting out weekly videos every single week. So you don't want to miss them. Good luck to everyone studying for the MCAT and let's get it. You got it.